Hey y'all, so I'm back with another makeup video and it's just gonna be really simple. Um, this is basically just my everyday going to work look. Um, I do have extensions now, lash extensions. So I went ahead and put on my uh, eyeshadow already, which is really simple. It's just a nice little brown color and a nice little um, gold. So it looks like this. But yeah, so let's go ahead and get started with this look. So I already primed my face and I use the Fenty primer. I have the mini version. That's the only one that I bought. So I actually like this. So I think I want to get the full size. <laughs> so I did that. So now I'm going to go ahead and go in with the foundation. I love this foundation. This is the NARS Soft Matte. Um, complete and this is in the shade Morea which is medium deep 2.3 now it's off slightly um, I think I will probably get Cadiz which is one shade lighter um, so once I run out of this I'll probably try Cadiz out but this is a pretty close match um, and as you can see I have like golden undertones so this works I do apply this with a brush. Um, where is my brush? This is the e.l.f. brush. So it's the ultimate blending brush. But to be honest with you, I have like several foundation brushes. I have this one. Uh, let me see. This is also an e.l.f. brush. I it, It's rubbed off. So I don't know what it's called. Let's see. I have this brush and it's a flat top kabuki and this is actually from Kroger but it's really good really good that's probably this one is actually probably my favorite it's between these two these two are really neck and neck so I will be using this and then I go ahead and also blend it out with um, a beauty blender or um, I actually just washed these so don't judge me <laughs> but I did have to work these past two days this is an elf sponge with their concealer and this is my beauty blender and this is also elf so this one is really good too so let's go ahead and do that I just apply it to my face and this is like medium to full coverage so it's buildable but I like full coverage for work and I'm gonna buff this out there you can probably see it's just like a little yellow-ish but it's But I do like how it blends out. It's not really thick. It's soft, like it says. It's very soft matte. So it's lightweight. It doesn't feel like it's caked on your face. But I do know these companies are trying to come for come for each other's necks because of course Too Faced. I have Too Faced. I'm still trying to find my shade in that. I've tried a uh, caramel and uh, what was the other one? Brulee. Try Brulee. Brulee was way too red on me. And caramel is like a little ashy, so it's not really. There's no such thing as like one pump, two pumps with this since you have to squirt it out. But I just go back and add more. And again, it it doesn't look cakey. So if you add more to it, it's not gonna look cray cray. off in here. It's so hard working around these lashes. Like, so hard. 
letting this out. You do have to work kind of quick though to make sure that it doesn't um, dry down all the way. But it is kind of like a watery consistency with this. But it's not, it's not like really watery though. Oh my god. You probably can't really see that well. But I'm trying to do it. Trying to get all up in here. This lighting is like really bad in here. Like I said, I go with my beauty blender and make sure everything is just like even out. I go in with my concealer so because this is off just a little bit um, I go in with the Too Faced butterscotch and with the Too Faced warm sand and I really like this concealer it's really good <laughs> and of course I just have the mini size and the butterscotch so, I look like a put some right there. And I don't like it too heavy. Don't like it too heavy. A little bit, but it. And then I like to go in with this one too. I don't blend it in and then put the second one I'll go ahead and put that one you can see it's not that much of a difference not too much so I let it dry down just a little bit just a little bit it don't need to be on there for And honestly, I go back and forth with my sponges. Um, they're all really good. But to be honest with you, I like the e.l.f. sponges better than the Beauty Blender. I don't know if I just need to get another one. I've only had it for like, mm, i say like, no, nah, I had it for a little bit. It's probably time to get another one. But I do wash it. I use the Beauty Blender cleaning soap. It's like this little round little round soap and you could just go ahead and go in and it does a really good job really does a good job so i'll put down exactly where i got it from so let's go ahead and blend this in you see that blend it in good and i'm going to go in and I like to do blend in the forehead and this part first because this is where the most concealer is. And I'm trying to make sure. Uh -uh. Uh. Yeah. This, the sides are where the 
most concealer is and if i was to go in and blend this out afterwards and this out it's going to be way more coverage so that's the only reason i do that first all right i'll go ahead and blend that in And, go like that. and I don't bring this too far out. Some people like to go all the way up here. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> and you see how good that is blending out. See that? Okay. Yeah. Don't mind my lips, they're a little ashy. <laughs> and my sponges are just a little damp already. And that's only because, I, like I said, I wash them. And so they're still a little damp. But I do recommend you wetting them just a little bit. They don't have to be really saturated. You don't want that. Because then the product. It's just going to stick to it, so. Definitely don't want that. Don't try to blend it out though. Oh, oh God. But Huda just came out with a foundation stick. And the best part about it is it's fragrance free. Now their original formula, the liquid version, is the coverage is great but it has a fragrance fragrance to it and my skin is very sensitive so i couldn't use it like couldn't use it at all um so i definitely i definitely didn't want to go ahead and try that uh huda if you want to send me something you know i know i ain't got that many followers but i'm just saying <laughs> all right and you see how quickly that dried down dry down really quick so I want to go ahead and get this one, which I um, blended in my concealer and just kind of go around and make sure there's no like harsh lines or anything like that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I actually like this one for powders. So I'm using the... Fenty Beauty powder and this is in Honey. Now, I tried banana, I'm peanut butter caramel, and so, you know, I'm a little light, but the banana one was just way too light. And I was just like, yeah, I can't, I can't, can't work with this. I don't wanna look ashy. So banana is a nice little happy medium. And so I just dip it and I put the excess inside of the cap. And I'll go and then right under my eye. And I'm still trying to figure out which one I like best. If I like to sweep it off with um, a brush or if I like to just pat it in. Yesterday I patted in, patted it in and it looked really good. So I want to go ahead and see. And even after I did the pat, I still use the brush to kind of wipe it off. Um, if, if I want a little more of a lighter look underneath, I'll go ahead and take the Laura Mercier, and this is in Honey as well, and I'll just put a little bit under there, or I'll use the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Press Powder, and this one is definitely lighter than, than the Honey one, but I'll use that and just put it under my eye a little bit. Uh, I'll go right under my hair. And sometimes I just take the excess that's in the top and just put it on here. Put it right there. And I, for some reason, I don't like my forehead glowing like everybody else's. So I try to make that very minimal. And do my thing. So I am going. I am going to take the Laura Mercier and put some underneath my eye and the same thing like and this is what it what it looks like if i can see i'm trying not to spill it but it definitely has a tint to it 
compared to the original formula, just the translucent powder. But I was, I, I don't know, I could just never get into the Laura Mercier setting powders. I don't know. I'm a beginner, so maybe I'm just not doing it right. <laughs> close that up and I want to close this up sometimes I go right here sometimes I don't I mean it just depends how I feel but I'll go ahead I'll do it today that's fine and I am not a huge contour person I'm like a minimalist a minimalist can't talk today and um i don't like all that extra stuff so i'll just go in with with my fenty beauty and this is in beijing girl yeah beijing gal so let me put that on in a second but while this sits i like to go ahead and do my eyebrows so I, the other week I ended up getting the threading and brow tint. I don't know if the girl just didn't know what she was doing, but it didn't come out the way I wanted it to. So I was still putting, you know, eye, eyebrow pencil and stuff on it. So it is what it is. But this is a darker one. This is the Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim trying to see what color this is in this is in black brown and then the anastasia beverly hills this is in chocolate so i go on the bottom with the maybelline this is darker i don't use the maybelline brush on there because it kind of sucks but i just go in with the pencil i'm not a pomade girl i don't have to do any of that I'm very simple when it comes to makeup, so, but of course, I just start underneath my eyebrow, and this eyebrow that I'm doing right now, it's very short compared to the other side, very short, so, be having to add a little tail to it you know and just go in and I really don't go in too much with it I just stick to the bottom part because I don't want my eyebrows super dark and I'm still trying to perfect this whole eyebrow thing because you know they're supposed to look like sisters not twins well mine be looking like cousins and aunties and uncles so I'm still trying to figure that out <laughs> But I go ahead and go to the top. I can't look at the camera because I will mess up. And you're just supposed to follow your eyebrow shape. I mean, sometimes people have to create a shape. So that's what mine looks like. I think I'm gonna do the tail just a little longer. Oh, that's what's looking like so far. And then I just go in and start blending it in because as you can see like this part right here, you don't want it to be super noticeable that you drew your eyebrows on. So I'm just gonna go in and just kind of touch it up a little bit. And so for the front part, I just go up like this, hair like strokes, just go up. I used to draw a line right underneath, but I stopped doing that. If I do draw one, it's like very faint, very faint. <laughs> so, oh, you can see my nose, sorry y'all. <laughs> But please let me know what y'all want me to try because 
I'm just very, very basic. And I like to try some new stuff. Eyeshadow palettes. Like, right now, I just have the Morphe palettes. Um, the copper one that I used in my last video. And I have, like, the bigger, I think... I don't know what his name is, but I have the bigger one, and um, it has like all the different colors in there, the purples, the greens, everything um, I had got for Christmas, so I use that one right now, but as you can see, this is what the eyebrows looking like, nice and simple, nothing cray cray, I don't like those harsh lines in the front, like I, I don't want to look like I'm square dancing. <laughs> now all right let's go ahead and go to the other eyebrow and the only reason i'm doing this on camera is because i do it i do my eyebrows after this part because i just don't believe in doing my eyebrows before i just i don't know how people do it and it glides it glides on better once the product is on your face so that's another thing but having to work around your eyebrows is just a lot. So, yeah, we're getting there, we're getting there. And like I said, this eyebrow is thicker than this one. So, it's going to look a little, it's a little different. And honestly, like, I haven't really experimented with a lot of eyebrow pencils. Um, when I started, the only reason I started getting into makeup is because my job as a news reporter, and I'm always on TV, you know, face gotta be beat, gotta look decent. So that's the only reason I actually started getting into this whole uh, situation. But, I mean, if y'all have any other suggestions about what eyebrow pencils y'all use, then I will definitely try it out. Or if you have one in mind that you wanted to try, I will definitely try it. I will spin my coins and try to get it. All right, so that's what it looks like so far. So now, so like for example, for this one, I might have to put a little bit of a line right here just to kind of make sure it's even out. So you see, see that? So now I'll go ahead and start putting the little strokes in there. And sometimes it's hard to figure out like how far to go since you're making strokes and my hairs are so light like if i didn't do my eyebrows for tv it'll look like i have none on camera so and just take your time because you don't want to look cray cray walking out the house, okay? And so sometimes you just gotta go in. Okay, so it's looking good. Let me just touch this one up. Just a little, a little bit more. And then also you definitely want to make sure you look at the height of them as well. Because sometimes, like, when your eyebrows aren't the same, you can't really tell until you look like, oh, wait, this one is a little lower than this one, so I need to kind of fix it. So just something. Something to look at. And then also make sure you look at the darkness of your eyebrows. Sometimes when one needs work, more work than the other, one can be a little darker than the other. So you have to make sure you go back in with your spoolie and just make sure you just brush it out. So that's pretty good for me. I don't need to do any more because they're going to start looking like aunties and uncles. Okay. Now we can go ahead and blend this out. And I think I'm going to go ahead and use this one. 
I don't know how to blend it out like this. And don't worry about like the line because we're going to go in with the um the bronzer. So that's going to be running it out. But pat, I definitely know that patting, patting it in gives it way more coverage. If you want that nice airbrush look, this patting it in will do that for you. So this part right here, the comb just it off. The comb just it off. Okay. So that's how it looks. I'm gonna go ahead. This is also an e.l.f. brush. This is the Flawless Face Brush, and I use this to wipe off, um, wipe off that excess powder, or just use it. It's just like a regular face brush. So, even though we patted that in, I'm gonna go back in, and we're gonna just sweep and wipe whatever else is off, and it'll help with the lines too. Okay, so we did put some up here. I'm gonna wipe that off. And then when you put the powder on your forehead, I try to sweep some on my eyebrows a little bit just so it can help stay because if you're oily like me, sometimes your eyebrows will start to um you know, they'll start to show like it's oily. Alright, now time for bronzer. So I have this brush. This is the full blush brush but I don't use it for blush and this is the eco eco um, brand I can't remember the name I'll put it in there but I use this and again this is the Fenty so I just take this brush make sure it has product and go in and you want to brush up you want to brush up And then I just drag it in over here. But this is this is gonna add that color to your face that you want. And sometimes we better go back. Remember that powder we did? I'm just gonna go back and rub that in. And go And buff that in. I just take it to the to the top of my forehead. But again, this is to add color, color to the face. And then I just go back and just add a little bit more. Don't judge my jewelry head, okay? It's actually the hubbies. <laughs> and go under your chin. I don't do a lot down there, but I, I'll go back and just kind of like this. Sometimes I'll put it on my nose, so I'll take a little brush. This is the Elf Flawless Concealer Brush, and it looks like that. But I don't use it for concealer because I like to blend my concealer out with um that. But I'm going to go mm, sides of my nose. I'm a little bit. I don't need. I don't need a harsh, a harsh line or anything. But you just want to sculpt your nose. All right. So that's done. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go in, and I just want to add a little bit of a more of a pop. So I'm gonna take my It Cosmetics. And this is what it looks like. I've used a lot of it. <laughs> and I'm going to take this uh, setting brush. And I'm sorry, I don't know the company this is from. <laughs> but I'm just going to take a little bit. Tap that. And we're going to put a little bit under the eyes. When I say a little bit, I really mean a little bit. I'm not dragging this down to other areas. Okay. Now, I'm not 
so for my eyeshadow and stuff since i have these lashes i'm not doing any type of eyeliner except for the bottom lash so i have the huda beauty this is the um life liner so it has the eye uh, eyeliner pencil and then it has the twist with the liquid the liquid is pretty much gone so that's why i have, don't use that so i'm just gonna go under the eyelash Don't poke your eye. Um, and then depending on if I have like a special event or something that I'm doing, I'll put a, like color on the bottom of my lash, but I'm just gonna work. <laughs> and so because I'm not putting eyeliner on the top I put some in between the crease of my eye just a little bit not like pulled out or anything like that now that that is done I'm gonna go ahead and go with the blush okay the blush. this is my elf blush palette I love this little thing and it comes with these four shades so if you're lighter than me you want to go with this one I mean, if you want, like, a natural look. This one, I have really liked lately. Um, it doesn't have names on them, so. But this one right here has a little sparkle to it. Because I've kind of stayed away from, from highlighter. I don't know why. I just stopped using it. But this is really nice color. And, of course, you have your pinks. But I take this blush brush. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and use this one. And I try not to be too heavy, but you know, sometimes things happen. So I just drag that up like that. And you can probably see the little sparkles, you know. And we're going to go ahead and brush that in. And then sometimes I bring it across my nose too. I think I've seen that from Arnell on um, YouTube. And she brought it across her nose. I think she was doing the Doja Cat look. Uh, look, and I was like, hmm, that actually might be cute. So I just go in sometimes and just put a little, you know, a little razzle dazzle. And then what I do is I broke this, but this is like a face brush, and I just go in and just make sure that there's no harsh lines or anything. it's pretty much it now I'm gonna go ahead and set my face what I've been doing is I've been taking my elf brush I mean elf blender you know what I mean and I'll spray it and this has the excess powder on it but I'll spray it and just pat that in And I'll go on my eyebrows just a little bit. And instead of just spraying it all over because, again, I just got these lashes done. And I don't know how it will react to, to it. So, I've just been doing that. And this is the Urban K All Matter Setting Spray. Looks like. And I'm gonna put my little earrings on a little bit because you know got my little pearls. Pearls for the curls. And I guess for the sake of this, I'll just put on some lip gloss. I mean some lipstick that I have over here. So y'all can see what it looks like. With a nice little beat face, you know. I'm gonna do a lighter pink. So off rip, I have this elf 
lipstick. This is old. But I'm gonna do mine or anything. I just go right in. I got I got big lip, so um I don't even know if they sell those anymore. But I take my time because I don't want to get it on the side. <laughs> This is called. <laughs> I don't know what it looks like. This is what it looks like. All right, so that's finished. Did that. Let's go ahead and put this up real quick. And then I'm about to show y'all what my face looks like in the light blue first. I'm about to take off this little little hat, you know, so you know I could cut up my hair. If you don't follow, if you don't follow. My social media pages, make sure you go to Instagram and Facebook, Lene Lewis TV, or on Twitter, Lene Lewis. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and brush that down. This what it looks like. So, you know, I'm about to go ahead and see. See so what this looks like. Okay. We're going to go into the natural light. So yes, this is what the beat looks like, okay? Looks like this, natural light, natural light. So that is the completed look. Please let me know down below if there's any products that you want me to try or just anything like that or any suggestions. Just let me know in the comment section below. Again, make sure you follow my pages. All right, y'all have a good day.